Man who hears an animal crying in the swamp realizes with dread what he has to do. Animals can get themselves into precarious situations, and it sometimes takes a little help from a kind human to get them out. Randall Kolb, also known as the cat rescue guy around southern Louisiana, was not only aware of this, but he already had the skills and tools necessary to stage a cat rescue any time. When Randall was contacted one afternoon by a local animal shelter about a stranded cat, he knew the feline's life depended on him. However, he'd never pulled off a rescue quite like this before. Randall Kolb called himself the cat rescue guy for a good reason. If ever a kitty was in trouble, he was armed with all the tools to help, and he always jumped at the opportunity to do so. For the past several years, Randall dedicated his time and energy to helping cats. He'd usually find them in precarious situations around southern Louisiana, where he lived with his wife and his own cat, Callie. No job was too big for Randall, who prided himself on his ability to accomplish every rescue he was tasked with. Then, one afternoon, he received a message from a local animal shelter about a stranded cat, and it'd be unlike any rescue mission he's attempted before. According to local animal shelter CARA's house, a passerby heard the faint cries of an animal while birdwatching by the river, but they couldn't pinpoint its exact location. Although it wasn't Randall's typical type of rescue, the shelter didn't know who else to contact. Randall, accompanied by his wife, immediately gathered his gear and drove to the swamp. He never ventured into swampland before, but he was up for the challenge. He stood at the edge of the water and scanned the area. Sure enough, after several minutes of looking and listening intently, he thought he spotted the stranded creature perched on a tree stump. What the heck was it? While his wife watched from drier land, Randall changed into his rubber wading boots and headed into the murky water. Whenever it came to a rescue mission, Randall made sure he took every precaution. He knew Louisiana swamps were filled with alligators and snakes, so he brought a large stick with him to fend off any unwanted company. Luckily, Randall didn't see any signs of threatening predators, so he ventured into the bush undeterred. For a moment, he lost sight of the animal. He stopped walking and listened for its cries. Sure enough, he heard it again, crying softly. He quickly spotted it on a trunk directly ahead. It would take Randall a few minutes to maneuver his way over, but he knew the creature, whatever it was, would be safe. Randall assumed Hurricane Harvey, the storm that had battered the Gulf Coast just four days earlier, caused the poor animal situation. It most likely climbed the tree when the ground was dry. Then, after the hurricane flooded the area, it had no way of getting back to land. That was when Randall confirmed exactly what the animal was, a cat. And boy was he scared. Randall would frequently use catch poles to rescue small felines that had become stuck in trees, but he had to go about this particular rescue in a different way. Randall extended his hand slowly so the cat could sniff him. He needed the animal to know that he didn't pose a threat. When it came to animal rescues, Randall knew that establishing a level of trust was key. Thankfully, Randall had a small plastic bowl of food along with him to entice the frightened feline. He looked malnourished, and Randall immediately knew the food was vital to his rescue effort. It was no surprise that the cat was suspicious of everything happening. Still, in Randall's experience, no matter where an animal was stuck, whether it was in a swamp or high in a tree, food was always the best tactic to earn trust. After the cat seemed interested in the food, Randall placed the bowl into the back of the small carrying case he was holding. He hoped the cat's appetite would get the best of him, and he'd enter the carrier without issue. It worked! With the cat inside, Randall closed the cage door. The first part of the rescue mission was complete, but it was far from over. Randall still had to make it back to land and hope he didn't encounter any swamp creatures along the way. Using his stick to check for uneven ground, Randall slowly waded back to land where his wife was waiting in their car. He knew that the murky swamp water would be rife with other animal life, and he didn't want to hang around to find out what it was. Meanwhile in the car, Randall's wife was thinking the same thing. 
She knew the threat of alligators was very real, and she breathed a huge sigh of relief as her husband emerged from the thick brush. Once in the car, they rushed to the CARA's house animal shelter. Randall and his wife named the cat Chompers because of his long fangs, and the workers at Kara's house supplied the kitty with all the care he needed. They also made a startling discovery. He was microchipped. His owners would be so happy to learn that their cat was safe and sound. When it came to cat rescues, Randall Kolb had no problem facing danger to accomplish his missions. He was fortunate that an alligator wasn't in his midst during Chomper's rescue, or else things may have ended differently for the cat rescue guy. Chompers sure was lucky that Randall knew what to do to get him out of that swamp. Who knows what would have happened if Randall and his wife didn't come to the rescue.